Salutations everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2 in which we're playing as that big old green giant in West Africa. Not Luongo, but Sokoto, and not either at Watara. But I played off, played off, just played a little bit more off screen, just so that we could speed things up just a little bit more. So right now, we have a, I believe, we have justified on Ashanti to take these guys out. Ooh, maybe, maybe not. No, not Ashanti, we're justifying on Ashanti. We can actually go to war with Watara, actually. It's Watara. So basically we will. And we've not... Basically, I had to save Scum. Some of you guys are actually totally okay with it, just so that we can get through this... Maybe not get through it, but to play as if we want to, you know, civilize as fast as possible. So let's just go, go to war. We'll have a great time. We love it. Uh, we've already boosted up our military quite nicely, actually. And we've got quite a few comments to go through, but regardless, let's go ahead and teach these people what it means to truly be West African. Because we love West Africa. We love it. And actually, something I haven't showed yet. Maybe, let's see, what do we have in Revolt Risk? Colonial... Actually, what's Colonial? Nothing there yet. Recruitment, map mode. That shows you what we have. Ooh, National Spirits, Naval map mode. Crises? <laughs> there could be a potential lot of flashpoints for the crises that we have currently. Civilization level. Well, we're doing okay. Civilization progress is 20%. Secondary power. Civilized nation. We'll see what happens. Rankings. My, eh, migrations. How, how, how are those going? America? Oh, no one's getting anything. Of course, I just loaded up the game, so that's probably why. Supply limit. Sphere... Ooh, we're still in the one sphere. That sucks. Come on, guys. Oh, actually. The influence... Oh, we're being influenced by the Ottoman Empire as well. That's interesting. Culture map mode. We are, we are massive cultures. That's really fact. I thought I could show you, like, religious map mode, but I guess not. That kind of sucks. But whatever. Uh, a couple comments. First of all, have I changed my mic settings? I might have sounded a little different in the last episode. Nope, I haven't changed them at all. I might have been moving around a little bit too much. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Ooh, Ashanti Gold Coast. And this is... Do we get gold? Oh, 300,000 people there? My goodness. Uh, we have you guys over here still. I have reorganized our army just a little bit, just because... There's a lot of populations that cannot be used and stuff like that. We'll go to war soon, actually, so... We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah. What was I saying? I'm speaking so fast, I can't even remember what I was saying. Let's just go to war. Cool. Since we're already war, anyway, so... Ah, yes. Don't mind if we do. And we love slavery. Nothing like a bunch of slaves. Cool. Help them out. Good. Oh, 50,000 soldiers. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, they, got a good, they got a good dice roll, but we got an even better one. What is this? Leader defense? That's really that's really good defense. Plus six. Wow. Cool. Good job, guys. Go, on, go down there. Go ahead. Go right there. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Actually, how many more research must we have? Oh, that's quite a bit more. That's like double that one we had earlier. Because when I started this before I started recording, we were like 22,000 some. I think 2,100 maybe. 2,700. Something like that. I'm not really sure. So, let's start talking about a few of the comments as we start justifying other people. we got to justify eventually on Bambara. Do we have a... We do have a truce with them until 54. Wow, that's, a, that's quite a while. Messina. We have a truce with them until 52. So we got quite a while before we can go to war with them. Man, we're really limited. Hmm. If that's the case. Hmm. I'm just thinking. Thinking about a couple things. Oh, other comments. We're basically creating a 19th century Wakanda. That's what someone said. Oh, yeah, I can kind of see that. Yeah, let's see what else. Encourage clergymen and intellectuals using our national focuses. We can actually lower the spending here, probably, actually. Actually, that doesn't cost too much, so we can do that, too. Please offer. Let's see. Let's look at this. We're conquering 4990.6. Yes, please. Since we can't annex them directly just yet. 499. Look at that. That's beautiful. So much more research points when we actually do it like this. So good. Kong is good. Orodaro. Also very good. You guys. Help it down here. 40, 45. You guys need... Eh, go and do that. That's fine. Let's see. You guys are done. You guys are looking not too bad. I'm going to send you down to Wari. Oh, you have some soldiers from Ida. Let's see. Actually, I'll send you guys actually back up here. For five, you need to use one more infantry, which is fine. Or really irregulars. Cool. Not bad, not bad. 13th in the world in terms of military power. Ha! Huh. I love West Africa. Also, next comment is encourage clergymen, like I said earlier. I've already begun doing that, actually. I'm trying to get, like, more administrators here. It hasn't been super helpful. So, I decided, screw it. We need more intellectuals. We need more literacy and stuff like that. So, we're going to do that. Next up, go to Johor. They got a lot of uh, precious metals and stuff like that. Now that's Malaysia. Oh, that is Johor. They're allied with Siam, which I... Oh, 
maybe I could actually beat them up. Ooh. But to get all the way down here, that means I gotta get, get on a boat. And we have no boat right now. And the precious wood would be pretty good to get. Hmm. Also, someone said that it might be possible that as an uncivilized nation, we cannot um, go bankrupt. I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I don't really know. There's my locker right there. I would like to take over stuff here, but I have tried it. Like, on my own time. I played as Australia before, and I tried to colonize this area and take these people out. And then the Netherlands decided to kill me off with the UK, if I remember correctly. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I actually can get all the way over to here. My goal is at least to conquer as much of Africa as possible. Like, I don't know how far we're going to actually be able to get, but we'll try our best. So, it's already 52. 33.3. This is looking pretty nice. So, here's the plan. I want to keep conquering other nations. That's that's my primary goal. But, we might eventually start running out of places in West Africa to take over. As much as I'd love to do... Ooh, actually... Are we... Ooh. So, I do want to spend other... Words are hard. I want to go to other nations and conquer them to get some more research points. So, we could do... Western shipyards to get post Nelsonian thoughts so we can make a dockyard or naval base. That's what post, -Nels th post Nelsonian thought is or does. We can do that and then maybe naval training for even more research points when conquering because I want to get over to South, Af South Africa. Well, South Africa actually wouldn't be too bad. And especially going to Luango. But go oh, Argentina form, nice. And if we go to war with Uruguay, they have no military and they're only allied with Paraguay and Paraguay. They have no military either, so... The faster we can go to war with these guys... Oh, we can only humiliate them. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we can't actually conquer them? What the heck? No, no, no. How about these guys? These only have, these guys only have a score of three. We can only humiliate... No! Regardless, I still want to get on the boats and leave. Because as much as I'd love to go other places... And do other reforms... We'll see what happens. Because at this point, I don't think anyone in West Africa can really fight us off. Except for, like, the Brits and, you know, the great powers and such. The faster we can conquer, the better, better, better. God, this one's so good too. The enlightened philosophy is so good. Single currency would not be bad either. No standard when you activate this technology. Oh, that's so good. Industrial construction would not be bad. I would actually like transportation systems too. But we'll see about that. Reform system would actually not be bad either. More plurality, more education efficiency. The next one, yeah, we gotta go with Western shipyards. We gotta start sailing the seas a little bit probably. Because we'll get quite a few points in conquering these other nations. Oh, it's already 51. When's the next time we can go to war with these guys? Because they're... All right, then. So, like normal, I'm going to go ahead and go off screen if I have to. To make sure... Or, you know, so we don't get penalized too much. Oh, that's not bad. Go right there. Kufa? You guys should be still making more another army, maybe. And you guys go right there. Niami? No. Goto, ooh, Vidav's course is good. Coming to Niki. It shouldn't take too much for us to kill these guys off. They only have one army, as we can all see them. That's a lot. We've got so much money. My goodness. My goodness, I love it. So much money. Mmm, 100%. Nice. Hopefully we don't get discovered. Hopefully not. Eh, yeah, the Menace. Good. Oh, that's really good. Speed it up. Speed. Go, 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 go. Faster, faster, faster. Now, I know conquering other nations does basically lower our literacy, but it is what it is. Okay, you know what? I, I'm not going to go off screen yet just because that's oh, okay. That's kind of okay. It's not great. It's really actually not good at all, but whatever. We'll do, still do okay. And since we have it pretty much done already. Uh, yeah, we already conquered, conquered the other people. That's not bad. Justifications 81% of the way there. Kokandi restoration to the order of the Badakashani. Oh. Oh, America's doing Japanese stuff. Well, that's cool. Good luck, guys. There you go. Are we still losing money? I mean, I'm not taxing the middle class or the upper class too much at all, but... Nice. Thank you very much. Now we're going to accomplish the goal that someone wanted me to do earlier in the campaign in the last episode, but whatever. We'll have a good time anyways. And this group actually has a lot of accepted cultures, which we can directly use their their manpower. We lost 3,200 versus 12,000. I see that as an absolute win. At that point, thank you very much. Only over nine consciousness, that's all. That's all. 
And once we get rid of these guys, we should be able to get another reform. Good, good, good. Zender, thank you very much. And I'll send you guys to go home and Nikki. Nikki. Because next up, we're probably going to go to war with Messina. And then we'll probably have to justify and go off screen and make sure we do it okay. Very good. And we're almost done with them. They got no divisions left. Oh, Typing Rebellion. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Six, May 8th, 52. Not bad. So you guys are looking pretty good. So I'm going to send you guys back over here. Could we make another army, maybe? Hopefully. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is obviously not optimal, but since we have no cannons, it's okay for now. Military intelligence spreads. Some intelligence concerning our military preparations have spread for the military mission in one of our provinces, severely hurting our war effort. We've expelled the members of the mission, but the damage has already been done. Oh, we had military mission off screen, I guess. Technically, I already got military mission slave demographics. The population of slaves changed in our country. Oh. Military mission, we got more research points. We got some more pop militancy. Expires on the 9th of February. Oh, goodness. I think it was Spain that did that. Oh, that's not good. We lose research points. No! No! Oh, 20 more war exhaustion. Wow. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Hey, 3.5% literacy, though. If we get to 4%, we get some more research points, I think. Good. And I'm not even going to bother with this. So, you guys come over here. Doherty? Doherty's not good. Say no, no. Oh, man. All these problems are not that great. <sighs> there we go. That's a good piece. Great! <gasps> oh! Oh, we can do another reform. Please give me just one moment. Um, Let's see. My cat wants to come into the room. Gosh darn it. Binky, we're going to choose Western Shipyards. Now, it's not what I was really... Some of you guys are probably expecting, but now we can build ports. Uh, let's build up. We have a bigger population. That'd be good. Bonnie. And then Calabar. I'm glad we got Calabar. I'm glad we got down here as well. Oh, yes. Please. That's so good. Very cool. Hey, we're actually building ships. Go figure. We're shipbuilders. Love it. 20% of our population are upper house are now liberals great let's take a look at this so how many what percentage of the population are intellectuals 1.8 we want two percent at minimum two percent Ooh, now we're not making nearly as much money uh let's see the coffee i got here is not too bad wow no wonder we're not making nearly as much money because all the stuff we're spending on construction costs a lot but it's a necessary evil because we want to we got to build Build, 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 so we can make some ships. I'm not gonna lie. That's a lot of militancy. What else do we have here? Location quarters. 3.6% of our population can read. Not bad. Oh, who are they going to war with? Peru, Bolivia. Ooh, good luck, guys. Good luck. What am I looking for? I'm looking for modifiers. Here we go. This We already saw this earlier. Western influences. That's good. Legation quarter. That d we did get that one as well from a foreign nation. That's fine. Slave demographics, of course. Economic reforms? What is... Cost modifier. Ooh! Oh, wow. And Oh, that's not too bad. Organize a crackdown? For culture comp? Okay. On the Songhai groups, bide our time. Population change? Ah, get a crackdown. That's fine. Whatever. I shouldn't... Oh, God. It's probably going to get a while to construct this. But do we have the resources that are already needed, maybe? Maybe not? Oh, we got a lot of newspapers. Uh, just get rid of them. I don't, I don't really read the newspapers too much. Even in real life, I don't. Wow, it's not looking great. It's alright, though. And are we making maybe two more? Yes, we are. That's good. Because some of these groups really need to be sent home. Oh, you guys are looking fine. You guys are looking okay-ish. Yeah, I'll let you guys do that. Come here, Busa. I mean, that's 3.7. Not bad. Hey, already 1,100. Not bad at all. After this, we're going to start making some ships. Hey, construction is going. That's awesome, awesome. Oh, it's Jill August 1st now. Let's go and start justifying on Messina and get rid of those guys. Because they are alone. And no one wants to be their friend. So, obviously, if we get found out, I'll see you in just a little bit. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. Also, I did set my auto-saving to every month. Just in case. Just in case. Not bad. Hey, make more money now. Nice. Hopefully, by doing this, we can eventually just go conquer, like, Loango. I doubt they have a lot of things that we can really want, and I'll see you in just a little bit then. Alright, everyone, sorry about that, but here we are, ready almost to go to war, once again, with the, uh, folks, the good folks of Messina. 
It is, of course, October 52, and I did forget to put a little naval port down here. Give it about maybe until January of 53, just to make sure that we have enough morale, but then again, they have no score. So let's just go right on in. And they're led by the Jihadis. <sighs> I love the Jihadis. But you know what I love more than Jihadis? Can I say this? Slavery? In Victoria 2, in-game, in-game. Okay, maybe not real life, but in-game. Cool. Actually, since you guys are ahead, you might as well go there. And you guys finish off Gao. Cool. So we're still building up our naval ports. Having a good time with these guys. We've got enough money to afford it, for now at least. And we have no industry, which really sucks. But hey, you know, things are things are looking up. We're six in the row in prestige. I mean, that's really nice. That is really nice. Yeah, actually, these ports are actually being built. That's awesome. These bases, ports, whatever we call them. Just awesome. The Europeans are harassed. Ignore them? So the high militancy among certain groups of the population in Lagos have led to an outbreak of violence directed to the local expatriate foreigners. The embassies of the great powers have all lodged formal diplomatic complaints with the government and seem to expect some sort of reaction on our part, which we do ignore them or round up the usual suspects. We're going to round up the usual suspects. How dare you attack these Europeans who we are trying to learn from and make ourselves better? How dare you? A couple of comments. Let's see. Uh, we're living next to... Someone wants me to check out the regions around here and see if there's any big populations. Well, actually in Sokoto, we already have most of the populations under us. Now, there's other regions here, including, like, what is this? Adam Adamawa? And then we have Cameroon. So, yeah, there's regions around here. We have Niger up here. We've got Timbuktu, which we're taking part of right now immediately. We also have Wadai. And we already saw this province. We have Ubangi Shari. So, there's no real provinces here or regions that have a lot of population. We already have most of them. I mean, maybe over here. They probably have 100,000 people here. Uh, they do have 110,000 people. That's not too bad, so... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ooh, what are we losing money on? <laughs> Total expenses, not good. Administration costs and military spending. It's really the administration. That kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll be doing fine. And we should be done boosting up intellectuals in our provinces down here. Let's see, you guys. Let's go on. Oh. And now the Fulani Jihad. I love Jihad. Abdullahi Danfodio, well, the Emir of Guando, wrote, while he was still alive, a book on the Fulani Jihad, the baptism of fire by which Sokoto was formed. By spreading the word of this magnificent work of history, we can bring glory and renown to our nation. Hey, we have 4% literacy. Great. We get 2 prestige and 778 research points. Yes. I love Jihad. The Saharan frontier. What does this do? Oh, we need to become civilized first and own a lot of different places. And uh, the nomads have always been... Too, tr too too much trouble with not enough benefits to be kept under control. With the great powers quickly set setting out to carve Africa, establishing proper borders and control of even remote regions become a necessity. We can strike out a series of treaties to set up the Sahara frontier of our territories and eliminate any possibility of border conflicts in the Sahara? There's nothing there. Become house of land? We need the rights of man, too. And Tukalor Empire, we gotta get that, too. And change national value? Ooh. And how much points? That's not a lot of points, but that's kind of okay. For now. For now it is. Not great, but for now. You guys looking good? And you need two more cavalry divisions. There we go. Nice. How are the ports coming along? Very good. It is 53, so we could keep that in mind. These guys have 10 score. We have 34. And of course, I'll be reforming a little bit more. But they are allied with Gabu and Wolof, which I don't think are that strong. They have 4 score there, and Ga oh, they're over there, Wolof. Gabu has 2, so yeah, if we take out Bombarda, we'll probably do okay. And actually, take out Segu and this territory. Ooh, we'll have to have two wards then, probably, to take these both out. Hey, there we go. Nice, thank you very much. Oh, I should have should have seen if we could have uh, done other stuff, but that's okay. You guys... Actually, that's a lot of dudes. 20. Uh, maybe I'll split you guys back up. And there we go. Nice. You guys come down to Wagadugu. And you guys might be okay actually over here. 5,000, that's 15,000 soldiers. Yeah, actually, you'll be okay up here by yourselves. Come to see you then. Uh, we need five infantry things. That would be fine. Nice. Very, very good, actually. And now we're going to have to wait a little bit. A little bit of spending then. We'll be okay. Tariffs are still pretty high, but that's okay. You guys looking okay yourselves. Could get those two more cavalry divisions, and we'll be good. We've got quite a few generals. Love it. 4.1%. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this real quick. Sokoto. And population. Not even 2% yet. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. It's 53. We go to, go to war with these guys in 55. We have enough points. Oh, they actually really like us. They really like us. Oh, they're second in the world military. Not even first. Oh, boy. 
Oh, the Oregon Treaty in America. Okay, increase relations. Yes, please. That'd be good. Hey, they really like us a lot. Now, you guys. Can we please just go to war? I just want to conquer you guys. Why would I go all the way to Uruguay to humiliate them? Do they have enough for anything yet? Peru, Bolivia is not looking too good for right now. Oh, we could even go... Oh, oh. can we do something against them? Oh, we could, liber we could really make them a release of country. That would be pretty awesome if we could do that. We can even liberate a country. We'll see what happens when these guys are finished. So, Colombia has level 9 score. Venezuela has 3. Oh, we can only humiliate them. Why? Why? No. How about Argentina? We can liberate, make, force them to liberate a country. How about Chile? Now, they have level 6 score. That's not too bad for military compared to us, of course. Chile, what do you got? Humiliate. I just want to conquer more. Actually, hold on. What if we pulled a, a real cool gamer move and went all the way over here? We can only humiliate them. God dang it. What are we going over here? Uh, I'm not, I don't understand why we can't conquer some. There's, there, I know there's a reason why. I just don't know the reason. Um, it's probably too far away from us. Madagascar so down there. Zulu. Gaza. I mean, we can liberate countries, but there's no point to liberate countries. We just want to take them out. We want to buckle my shoe, you know. Cool. Anything else we should be notified about? Oh, how are the ports coming? Because we, we want a navy. We got to get a navy. Lagos. We're still building, still building. Accra. Well, it's about to be 54, so that's not too bad. But I do want to westernize, if possible, before 1870, when people really start coming over here and trying to colonize their area. Because we got to tell these Europeans, nah, not today, son, not today. Cool, I'll take you guys and come back over here and get some five things of irregulars. Good, 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 good. I'm surprised we haven't had any rebellions yet with this such high militancy and consciousness. It's kind of crazy. But 4.3% isn't bad. Let's double check this out. Nah, that's not too bad. Alright. So, I'm only going to do areas that we have directly under our control. Uh, we don't have any cores, and by directly under our controls, I mean cores. This area would be really good for intellectuals as well, because this is all core territory. 430,000 people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. They make a lot of babies here. 300, a third of a million, quarter of a million, a fifth of a million, a quarter million. There's so many people here. I love Africa. We're 11th in the world in terms of military score. West Africa. What a great place to be. Who wouldn't want to be here? Well, wait, what happened down here? Wasn't this Dutch? Um, I'm not going to complain about that. If the I'm just hoping the UK can sphere us. We can do well with them, maybe? Uh, yeah. They're barely getting more influence where we're at. Look at our population. 7.2 million. Our total population is just below 29 million. So, I'd love to see the population of, like, the UK... And stuff like that. Actually, is there a way to see population of other nations? I don't think there is yet. Well, I say yet. I don't think this game is going to get too many more updates. But I could be wrong. Actually, no, there is a way. There's a ledger here. The ledger. There's a menu. There's a ledger. Uh, let's see. Total score. At least we're not at the bottom. Hey, oh, look at that. One, two, three. Oh, the North German Federation. Four, five, six, seven. In terms of total score, we are seventh in the world. Holy cow, look at that. 177. We're, we're above Spain. Now, they have a bigger military. They actually have an industry, but the prestige we've got so far from just taking out uh, other nations, really nice. We're above the Ottoman Empire, and we're uncivilized. <sighs> it, it feels like we're doing something right here. Almost 5% of our population can read. Roughly 5%. Oh, that's so nice. All right, it's 54. I got to make sure we remember that. Uh, Wait, Jihad? Aqu what is jihad? A Ooh. Now I'm very intrigued. Because we'll have to go to war with these guys twice. we got to take Eastern Mali first and then Western Mali. I don't want to go to war with Wolof and Gabu right now. Because Gabu is right here. Actually, put a Lejean. Can we actually go to war with you guys and take... No, we can only do that. God dang it. Mm. That's alright. Their capital is Segu. So we actually would probably be forced to take... Western Mali first, which actually kind of sucks. But if we can do this, I'm acquire a state is 11 for 200 days. Jihad is 80 days for 10. And we still acquire an infidel state. 
Hold on. Before we do that, I just want to make sure that we get the right regions. How many regions do they control? Just Hopefully just two. And they're not talking about any other region. I think it's just two, so... Hey, if we can get Jihad going, I mean... Thumbs up from me, man. And we're... They have actually 11 military score, which is not bad for them. Let's see, we'll put you guys right here, too. And not bad. Can we make any... How many more can we make? Let's make five, because that's 15, and that would have fit pretty nicely, and they won't get penalized. Uh, 11th in the war. War between Shewa and Harar. So how's Europe looking? It's actually not, not looking too bad. I mean, someone did leave a comment yesterday saying I should play as Austria-Hungary. Oh, we have just barely enough infamy now for that. Oh, my goodness. But whatever. Uh, that's fine. Oh, Spain is having rebels, too. Oh, Spain and rebels. What, what do you expect? Carlos rebels. They start off with rebellions, which kind of makes me not want to play them, but... There we go. Eastern Mali. Yeah, why not? Oh, wait. Eastern Mali? That's our capital. If we get Eastern Mali, then we can form the Tukular Empire. Nice. Nice. That was so fast. Holy crud. So, probably December 1st we'll go to war. And then by 55 we can go war with the Ashanti as well. Should be awesome. Nice. Very good. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm really enjoying this playthrough. It's been a while since I've actually played this Victoria 2 campaign at the time of this campaign recording, so... Especially if you're not getting thrashed by other Europeans, but hey, that's just me, man. Alright, give it just one more month. Never mind, let's just go to war now. I want Jihad for Eastern that group. How did we acquire this? Through Jihad. Actually, you guys just go right there then. Oopsie. There you go. Now we're fighting quite a few different groups here, which is fine. You guys are headed to this group. That's fine. I want you guys to get these guys out if possible. You know what? Go in there too, just in case. This is all the, the armies that we really should need. And our guys are pretty experienced at this point, I would say. Cool. Hey. They're dead. Stay there, please. Thank you. We should only really need three armies. We'll see what happens. I don't want to cause too much casualties and attrition for these guys. 4.4%. Ooh, it went down a little bit more. Whatever. It's a necessary evil. Happy 55, though, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. 11th in the world in terms of the military. What more could you ask for? I was going to say bacon. What else could you ask for? But that doesn't make too much sense. You know, we don't even have engineers to help take these territories even faster. Oh, man. i got to play as a confederate someday. Plays Austria, of course. I, I kind of want to play as Romania, too, sometime, too. That would be an interesting nation to form, too. How are we looking over here? How's the intellectual population? Not bad. 1.6%. Not bad. Are their allies really not helping them out? Can we actually sue for peace right now? No. How is this looking? Not bad, either. Really not bad. We're a little bit over our military sword now that we've conquered this entire region. No. Yeah, it's going to probably take us to kill all these guys off then, so be it. Whatever. It's fine. Come to Bugoni. Bujoni. Bugoni. I don't think they're Italian, but I could be wrong. I don't think the Italians had a, too much of a massive colonial empire, but I could be wrong. I mean, they did it Ethiopia at one point. Food de la Jean? No. No. You're all... You. Everyone here has their uses. There we go. Alright, so let's take a look at this. We got 8,000 some. Thank you. The faster we do this, the faster we can go back to war with these guys. Uh, 20. Oh my goodness. I think we can do it, guys. I think we can do it. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited for this. So now we have 10,000. We didn't get that many, much, much more, but that's okay. Naval schools. I want to get stuff. Research points when conquering. That's pretty important to do. I want to get... Oh, actually, we can do either one. Four naval officers, civil, civilization progress, but you get tariff efficiency versus naval starting experience. That's 10,500. This is 10,500. So they're basically the same. I, I kind of prefer the, the tariff efficiency since we'll get more money anyways. I know this is so good to do, but, but getting more conquest points is pretty much the most important thing we could do right now. And we'll get flintlock rifles anyway, so that's not going to be really useful. Artillery would be actually devastating to get. Oh, that would actually be really good to get. Army schools, starting land experience, that'd be so good. Oh, we can't do that one yet. Oh, that's not too bad, though. That costs even more. Um, I want to do this one, but foreign naval officers would be better. It's only 10% more civilization progress, but getting 25% even more research points would be even better. Let's do it. 
And we're at 40%. Not bad. Let's go take some more time. That's totally fine. Now this. I did not think that we could do this. The Jihad must continue. With the cities of Central Deserts under our control, now is the time to find or found a united empire that will resist the coming onslaught of the colonial powers. We get 10 prestige, which is awesome. We're already 6 in the world for prestige. We get imported weapons. We get flint rock, flint rock, flint lock rifles. So we get imported weapons. So we already get 10% more civilization progress and more defense. That is awesome. And then we also get, get Fulba, Bambara, Songhai, and Torek as accepted cultures. So there'll be hopefully be less militancy and consciousness, hopefully. And we core all these provinces? Oh, yes. Dissolve the upper house. What does that do? Oh, we lose plurality and prestige. What is oh research point modifier, national confusion. Uh, supreme executive power in the Tukular state emanates from Segu, although the figure of the Tukular monarch through the figure. Uh, the absolute monarch is the final authority in all matters of the state, but the bureaucracy and the military are the pillars that sustain the absolutist government. In addition, the landed aristocracy, which often acts as a bureaucracy, expects and receives positions of power in the government and positions appointed by the monarch. <clears throat> this is necessary for the normal function of the Tukular state. The aristocrats are the governor generals, the privy councillors, the high ranking bureaucrats, the ministers and judges, and executors of the monarch's decisions for these functions. Several government institutions exist and are populated by the landed nobility. The committee of ministers of Tukular Empire, the governing senate, and the state council. They help draft and apply laws, manage foreign and internal policy, plan wars and administer the military, advise the Tukular monarch, as well as judge and administer justice. The monarch still can and has a final say in all these matters and is is his royal prerogative to do away with the currently appointed aristocrats and appoint new ones. By taking this step, effectively dissolving the upper house and appointing new ministers, the particular monarch can surround himself with sycophants and petty nobility that are willing to do whatever he wants them to do for a time at least. This breaking unspoken agreement between the monarch and the bureaucrats, the monarch and the aristocracy, will bring consequences besides exposing internal factors in the government to the international community. It is sure to anger the nobles and sow confusion throughout the government, government ranks. If we, got, if we can do it, we might as well. This is not going to be good for us, but... Oh. I can't click on it. Um. Okay then. We have tradition here, which hurts our research points. We got more ruling party support, less political awareness, less social reform desire, less political reform desire, literacy impact on con. Oh, that's so bad. Military. Uh, we've got it. I, I got to choose this. Active. So what do we want to do? Order. The modifiers for this national value. More land and naval organization. Mobilization impact on the economy. Pops will be slightly more conservative. Embrace ideal productivity. Tax efficiency. Commerce tech research bonus. Population size. Mobilization impact on the economy. Uh, autocracy. More ruling party support. Less reform desire. Well, be more conservative. Be more inclined to adopt the current government. Equality. More civil relation rate. Social reform desire. Immigrant attraction. Less pop militancy. Culture tech bonus. Embrace the ideals of liberty. Political reform desire. Immigrant attraction. Man, can we get a bunch of immigrants here? I don't know which one to choose. I, tradition is cool and all, but that the penalties to literacy are just not good. That's We got to get rid of that immediately. And research modifier points? Ooh. I don't like the mobilization impact on the economy, but I try not to ever use um, the mobilize button. I mean, I will have to eventually probably, but I kind of don't want order. Order is cool and all. But more tax efficiency is pretty cool. Mobilization size. This hurts our literacy impact. So autocracy is probably not what we want. Equality doesn't seem like it really fits us for jihad. But it could be not bad. Assimilation rate does go up. And I do want more social reforms. So liberty as well. Political reforms. Immigrant reforms. Mobilization size gets even more. Pops will be slightly more liberal. Pops will be slightly more socialist. That's kind of interesting. Socialist took over our empire, huh? More conservative. Yeah, I want more liberalizing effects. Productivity is not bad. Oh, let's go with maybe liberty? I don't know. I really... Hopefully we can change it later on. I like the political reform desire. Equality is not bad, though. Less pop militancy is not too bad. I like that a lot. Immigrant traction. Oh, hopefully we can change this. I apologize for me taking a while for this, but... Let's try liberty. I don't know. We're going to lose some stuff. Reactionary gets a lot more militancy. Let's try it. So now we get a hit with mobilization impact. We get more mobilization size, more immigrant attraction, more political reform desire. We get basically a bonus back to researching or and researching and literacy. So we'll set you that. So here in frontier, we oh that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love blue, but oh my gosh, 
Now, life rating doesn't change. Have we got cores on all this? Oh, wait, hold on. Do we get cores on... Oh, we got cores on that area, too. Oh, that's so nice. Do we get cores on other places, too, maybe? Maybe not? That is not bad. That is a beautiful little light blue area. I love it. And, let's see. Revolt risk? <laughs> oh, that's a lot of revolt risk all over the place. Wow. Uh, administrative? Not bad. Flintlock? Oh, oh. Oh, that's so good. And we want less combat with, unlike, like, Hoi 4. Oh, don't tell me we can, we can, please tell me, please tell me. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is so much better. 4, 4, 100% 1. 2, 200% 1. There's double the strength. Double the strength. Yes. Oh, I, you can tell I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited for this. And we got cores on all this area, even including this area too, which we can go back to war with eventually, which is going to be nice. Now, other places here we don't have cords on, which kind of sucks, but this is such a good step in the right direction. It's not even funny. Oh, they took out... Oh, a Tata, huh? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see. We, we, we built ships. We built... Or dockyards. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll go eleven, just in case one sip, sip, ship does sink. Let's see, Meta Wars, I think, are the capital ships, so we're going to get, like, two, and we're going to get, like, hopefully we can afford this, four ships. Nice. Oh, does that mean we can, oh, can I go to war? Can I just, ah, we can't go to war with them. Ah. Oh, Bolivia exists. Can I go to war with Bolivia? Oh, we can, we can liberate countries. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Humiliate, no. And now that we have infantry, we don't have cannons, obviously, which is not very good. Humiliate. How about 80? Some... Oh, they're, they're in America's sphere. Oh, god dang it, America. Uh, we probably can't do the same thing over here. Humiliate. Can I go all the way over here, then? I mean, we're, we're still uncivilized, but... No. Uh, man. They're not yet in the French sphere. The Portuguese are down here, too. Primitive Congo. It's fine. Who else can we go to war with? It is 55. Uh, we, we can go to war with these guys very soon. Literally next month. So that's not bad. Actually, Futa Le Jean. There we go. But you know what? I guess that would probably be a good place to end the episode here. If you enjoyed today's episode, I think we've been really successful. Consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we continue expanding the Tukalor Empire. And hopefully, maybe, potentially even westernizing even faster. Thanks for watching, though. And have a great rest of your day.